And here we are with the 94 Kenworth W900. Got the Cat 3406C, early Cat 3406C, a mechanical four and a quarter. Uh, come out the other day. Truck's been sitting a while, so we come out the other day. It's starting to get cold out. And uh, engine fan stayed on. Clutch stayed engaged. Uh, basically, on, on any truck, uh, there's three components to the the fan clutch. Three components that control the fan clutch. Aside from an ECM. Uh, ECM is on the newer trucks. That'll control your fan clutch as well. But we've got the uh, override switch inside the truck. That's your, your toggle switch. You've got your AC pressure switch. And you've got a thermal switch. Uh, normally when a fan clutch stays engaged, the immediate assumption is that it's the fan clutch relay or the fan clutch itself. Uh, you need to find out what kind of circuit you got and go through the circuitry to find out if it is the fan clutch or not. Uh, this is a normally open circuit. Uh, this is older. Newer trucks are normally closed circuit. Normally open means that there is no electricity being provided to the fan clutch unless it is engaged by one of those three components. Uh, normally closed is what the newer ones are. That means that electricity constantly runs until you break the circuit with one of the components. Uh, so I had to do some, some testing, take the battery box off, look for a bad ground, uh, go through all the fuses, pull the dash apart, check the the, uh, the override switch, uh, the AC pressure switch, uh, pull the air hose off, uh, check to make sure that it was it was working properly. The relay would exhaust when I turned the truck off and it would come on when I turned the truck on, uh, providing air and cutting off the air so the relay is good the fan clutch was good it was working properly it was just receiving a signal from one of those three components so I come around here to the passenger side and come up here to the top and right in here there's your thermostat radiator thermostat there's your upper radiator hose. Right in here, you will see the thermal switch. Now mine has two tabs on it, four wires. Two wires go to one side, two wires go to the other side. Now with the truck on, I went ahead and checked that circuit. And I touched the two terminals with a multimeter. And sure enough, I had constant continuity running through that switch. And this is supposed to be an open circuit, which means there is not supposed to be any electricity flowing from one side to the other until it is engaged by one of the components that I mentioned before. So, we went ahead and tested that and uh, I brought it inside, I pulled it out, that's a one inch one inch socket, that'll take that out. You gotta bend the tabs up, remove the, the wires. Do not touch those wires to anything with the truck on because that is a hot lead. That is a hot wire, it will short out. So make sure you disconnect the batteries or keep the truck off. Uh, my recommendation would be to disconnect the batteries before you mess with it because those are bare wires. Uh, Take that out, and once you get that out, I will show you how I tested it inside to find out that it was sticking. I have got a new one that I'm going to be installing today, so I'll be pulling that one out. It works just fine now, but I'm not going to be stuck on the side of the road, and I'll have a spare. First off, you have to drain at least five gallons of coolant, because in that, in here is coolant that goes into the coolant line so if you don't drain your coolant and you take this out 
your coolant is going to spill all over the place. So drain out at least five gallons before you remove that. My recommendation, another recommendation, would be to, uh, you can see I've got my coolant draining right now. Another recommendation I would uh, say is to check your coolant freeze point and boiling point while you're messing with the radiator. Uh, as soon as I get this drained enough, I'll go ahead and pull that old one and bring it inside. I'll, well, I'll install the new one. Then I'll bring the old one inside and show you how I tested it. All right. Excuse the place, please. I haven't had a chance to clean up. I've been working on the truck. Uh, all right, we got the old thermal switch out. I put the new one in. Uh, there's the old thermal switch right here. You can see it's got two prongs. Uh, it's threaded at the top, and that's your sensor. And like I said, it's normally open. So I've got one lead going to one side and one lead going to the other side. I've got it on continuity. Uh, this one's normally open. The newer ones are normally closed. So right now there is no continuity. So what we're going to do is we're going to check it. I'll show you how to check it. If yours is normally closed, you should be beeping right now because you should have continuity. Uh, come inside, just bring it inside. Put a pot of boiling water on the, on the stove. And you'll see, just take your take your thermal switch and drop it right in there. There we go, we got continuity. It opened up 205 degrees. It, it closed. Now we take it out and we let it cool off. It should go back to open. You hear it beeping? I still got continuity with cold water. Still got continuity, so we tap on it. There we go. The switch just moved. It's sticking. It's sticking in the uh, closed position. That's why the fan runs all the time. If you have one that's supposed to be in a closed position, it may be sticking in the closed position. We'll do it again one more time, all right? No continuity. Switch is open. It's cooled off. should be pull this out turn the water off I think you I think you should get the drift by now put it back under the cold water let it cool off cool off still got continuity give it a tip Continuity's gone, switch moved. So that switch is sticking. It's still a good switch, it's just sticking. You'd have to tap on it all the time, that's why we replaced it. But that's the way to check the thermal switch, and that may be the reason that your fan stays on. So I hope this hope this helps. seconds and we'll turn it over and there's your there's your circuitry for normally closed thermal switch 
All right.